Hi, this is Tom Does Tech. I'm Tom, and in this video, we're going to be looking at Lodash's get function. So if we come to the Lodash documentation, we can find get, and we can see that get here takes three properties, where the third property is optional, and the first property is an object, and the second property is a path. And so get is used to resolve the value from an object in the given path. So if we open up inspect, we can actually use all of Lodash's functions inside the console here with the underscore. So we can see underscore dot, and we have access to all of Lodash's utility functions here. So we're going to define an object that we can play around with. And the object is called data. And I'll clear that terminal and we can call underscore dot get. And we can pass our data in as the first property. And the reason we would use get is because sometimes it is not safe to get objects or properties from nested objects and even arrays. So we can use get and that makes getting those properties safe. And so if it can't find that property, it will return undefined. Otherwise, we can specify a default value and it will return our default value instead of undefined. So in our data, we have an array field, and we also have a null field, and we've also got a deeply nested object here. So we can call underscore dot get, pass in our data, and we can pass a path to the property that we want to find. So we have a representation of our data here, and we can find something in position zero of the array field. So we can pass array field in here and we can pass zero and we should see that it gets our property. But if we're to get something that is not in the array, then we would get undefined. We can specify a default value. So we specify that there as a string and we get our default value. So one gotcha with get is that null properties will be found and will return null instead of undefined. So we can get the null property from our object here that's called null field and we would expect it to return null instead of our default. And yeah, you see here that our default doesn't come out. If this is not the desired behavior, you can use an or operator. So you can say get my null field or my default and we should expect to see our default here and we can also use lodash to get deeply nested objects so we can get parent child then grandchild and the first property we get dot prop one and we should see it return our value but we can also get something here that is undefined and we'll get our default value again so that is Lodash's get function. I hope you find it useful. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching.